Hello viewers and welcome back to Let's Play. Oh, what am I playing again? Ah yes, Europa Universalis 4, the Mongolian edition, although we've been having some problems, haven't we? Yes, we have. So basically, um, we had the Steam disconnect a while ago, and now I am back online, back in Iron Man, and back in battle. Let's hope things go reasonably similarly to before. And, uh, we don't get hosed by RNG and get a different outcome. Whoa! Okay, we lost trade dispute against Coruscant. Now uh, we got, um... Maybe reinforcements here? Yeah, it looks like we're alright. And then we're just gonna wait on that to end, so... Yeah, I think we're okay here. And that's right, I was going to polish off Muscovy. That's it. that's also what was going on here. The only real question is, um, do I push for more from Denmark? And uh, what constitutes the Russian region? I always forget how to look at the region map mode. I think it's this one. But, like, how do I see all the regions? Maybe if we go like this, and then, uh... Oh. Like this? So, I just need Muscovy, Piskov, some of Lithuania, and Crimea. Can be done. Can be done. Well, this is just going to be a fight against the Ottomans, is what it's going to be. The only question is how I want to handle it. The most sensible way to take on the Ottos, I think, is to go stand in their territory, like right here. Ooh, Sunni Zealots. Stand in their territory, like right here in the mountains of Persia, and just bait attacks. Because they'll have inferior pips, so if they attack into that, they'll lose. But then, what do I take from, uh, from Denmark? I don't have a claim there. I have a claim there. It's a little higher tax. And, uh, oh, it's a fort level two. Okay. Yeah, we'll go down there. We don't need to take too much. Um, basically, this is like my first war against Muscovy in a lot of ways. Um, very important is that, uh, after this I will have access to Western troops. Very similar to how against Muscovy I had access to Eastern troops, um, following my first war. So even though it was a rather, um, jerk war, and, uh, quite draining to both sides, ultimately I came out very far ahead because of that fact. Uh, I was able to then train equal units to Muscovy in the long term. And we saw how, what the results of me being able to do that were. Now, of course, when I annex Muscovy here, I will no longer be able to train uh, Eastern units. They'll be gone. I could vassal Muscovy. And you know what? Well, no. I think they, they hate me a little bit much for that. Although, the aggressive expansion would go away. It wouldn't hurt to be able to continue to build their units. Um, maybe I can get an infantry and artillery-based mix because of doing so. So yeah, well, we might set that up. I might leave them. I might leave them. Come on, man. Well, okay, that's actually not that big a deal, because we can just uh, covert action, support rebels, and get them off of our provinces. And onto Danish provinces, where they actually help us rather than hurt us. As long as they don't telefrag you, in other words, appear right where you are, then you're usually okay. How am I doing on ahead of years? Three years ahead? Yeah, I'm just gonna store points. Basically. Ooh, crud. I did not even notice I was being attacked. How sad. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. I might. I might get there in time. And they are not getting a crossing penalty. What do you think? Another reinforcement stack gonna be enough? Maybe? Yeah, barely. Just barely, but we'll get another Shattered Retreat. And then we'll just run back. Yeah, to vassal them or not. 
they do have lucky status. And my number of relations is pitiful. So yeah, we'll go ahead and vassal them. Vassals count towards your, uh... They count towards your provinces, basically. <laughs> so that's that out of the way. And we have shattered Mr. God General yet again. In fact, um... We can chase them out here. They're even being blocked by peasants. But I think the uh, we're winding down on this war then. Because now my war exhaustion, I'm sure, is getting at least, yeah, decent. Punjabi nationalists. Have fun with that. Am I actually still converting stuff? Oh yeah, it's just going slowly because I have had the speed down this whole time so I can concentrate on the war. What's my attrition like? That's kind of big. Oh, that's right. Bohemia is still in this war. Well, they don't have to be, though. This one's gone on a bit. Oh, I don't have my uh, dudes out. Or my, uh... Yeah, I can get rid of them. At the low, low cost of a little bit of prestige, we can kick Bohemia out of the war. Ooh, an Imperial Reform. How far are they down on it? Oh my god. There's been, like, no presence, uh, no, um, progress in the HRE whatsoever. That's just sad. And Arissa gets a claim on me. If they press that, I would be impressed. <laughs> to say the least. <laughs> that would be one of the most lulzy thing ever. You know, I like being at three stab. I don't care what anyone says, it's nice. Ooh, three, two, and three. Better relations over time is pretty appealing, actually. But, um, so is trade efficiency, so we'll just grab that. We are at full plus three and running a huge surplus. Now, hopefully I can beat Denmark to this siege and then, uh, win out. Yeah, there we go. And each point of stability does speed up your uh, religious conversion, which I clearly need help with, so... That's uh, also part of the reasoning. Because without an Inquisitor, Eastern religion just doesn't have a lot of oomph. To say the least. Yeah, six fires is really obnoxious. They are the ones with Subutai this time. What the heck is Subutai doing from Denmark's side? Oh, they're gonna come after me, are they? Looks like they are. Can they actually win that? Or are they just coming after me because I don't have a general? Which, of course, uh, doesn't have to remain the case. Oh, we can always, uh... can always, uh, cheese a little. Actually, I don't know if I want to do that. I want to actually have some siege chance still. Oh, yeah, I got him. <laughs> There's no way they're going to win that. There's just no way, Not, especially because it's going to take them a while, even if they were to win, and then I'm going to have another 24 in their face. It looks like I'll win anyway. Yeah. So this didn't start out too well, but uh, I think we're finishing pretty strong in this war. In fact, I could, uh, I could beat on them for some more stuff, because that's... That's pretty well their, uh, their entire force, I believe. I'm not mistaken, yeah. Regiments... Well, no, they have some other stuff scattered around. But I could just uh, chase them and try and uh, do away with them. I'm pretty sure I could win. And so... Just go ahead and kick them out. Wow, that scared him off. Not that I care. Yeah, let's go for it. I don't really care about my ship costs. I, and like, my ships are so dated. It doesn't really matter a whole lot, I don't think. Not to the Mongols. Mongols on boats. 
Okay, yeah, so here they are. And uh, cannons aren't hurt too much here, so we're just gonna... No, you're not gonna get away. Even if you are uh, incredibly much stronger than me, and now I'm not getting my shock bonus because I'm no longer... Well, I wasn't anyway, but I was getting a, a plus two terrain modifier in my favor, basically. Which, uh, although it's not a 25% shock bonus, still hits really hard because, well, pips are a big deal. And effectively getting two pips higher across the board is always welcome. Ooh, wait a minute. They are going somewhere unexpected. Just for here, perhaps? Oh, if they boat block me, I won't be able to do anything. Oh no, we, uh, we got a full-on stack wipe. Well, now it's on. So, yeah, yeah, let's, um... Let's, let's, let's actually take some stuff, then. We are in position to do so. You go up here. And then uh, you just hang out and look for enemy staff. Uh, we, we'll be fine. Oh, jeez. Crimean Conquest of Lithuania. I don't know about that. Makes me nervous. Man, I can even convert Thang Long. That's uh, very impressive considering my uh, religion. I assure you. Okay. Nope, I think we're good here. Let's go up to uh, max speed. Because, yeah, why not break Denmark if we can do so? And it looks like we can. Ooh, wait a minute. So that's where you were going. Size doesn't mean everything, as Timo would say. And who does not like Timo? Aside from pretty well everyone ever. May 24th, May 23rd. Nope, oh, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Because I should be able to catch them out here. Although I wish I had a general, but with these kinds of numbers, I can probably get away with not having one. Come on. Don't run away from me. I just want to be friends. Oh, they're gonna kill my unit while running. Bloody hell. Well, at least I should catch up. So that's something. This is turning into a real pain, actually. I might just call the war here. Wait, where did I just get Sunni Zealots? Oh, probably down in uh, Coruscant's land. Yeah. That's fine. My Zealots are like nomad tech, so... I think most of the stuff I have, now that it's cord, becomes nomad. There really isn't a lot of point in sieging where I am here. Come on. Really? But the attrition is real. Just leave. It's not worth it. We're gonna need to recover at some point. Although, that's not cool. Can you just finish this siege? Or no, yeah, that's fine. I'll take one more province. Oh, 
There we go. Five provinces and this is not a bad deal. Come on. All right, let's end this. I like how I conceded defeat and I have my prestige all the way back up. I guess it's technically losing the war, but um, only by game terms. I think if you separate piece out a uh, an inferior dude, oh, I don't even have enough war score for this. That's a lot of stuff I'm taking. Denmark's pretty much the only person who cares about me doing this. Oh, I shouldn't have taken that. Well, it's only two tax. So, we have some coring to do. Of course, one of them is isolated. <laughs> and now I have to recover my manpower, which has been brutalized. And yes, technically I am below uh, a quarter manpower. But once you are after 1600, you can no longer get uh, Peasant's Horse. Oh, I took that and cored it just in time. <laughs> now I lost some of my claims. Okay, so do I have a royal marriage here? Yes, I do. Not quite enough, um... Not quite enough, but if I wait it out, I can just give him a gift and I don't have to give him subsidies. Subsidies are, uh... Kind of a pain to give them. Okay. So. Well, in this case, uh, we're at three stabs, so we'll just go with it. Yeah, you can eventually get to the point where you have so many stab boosting events available to you that you can make stability and just sit on three all the time. Of course, by then it's late game and you don't need it nearly as much. But I'm still. Very much uh, happy to have it, so it's fine. 161 out of 308. We have a lot of making up to do. And um, I don't have a rebel hunting stack here any longer, do I? We're just going to have to use uh, one of these guys as our new rebel hunting stack. You look like you'll do. And I'll just toss a couple guys on there so that that's actually a competent rebel hunting stack and yeah have at it go for it hunt those rebels and we can also uh, give them generals you can have mr. average ruler general and you you can have mr. no fire It beats nothing. And where can I tech? Oh, in um, Diplo. No, you know what? I'm going to give them subsidies. I want to get them out of the way. The land is good enough. So in this case, we're going to need to get them to plus 165. And uh, really 10 years should be fine. I'm obviously just going to cancel them once I start the annexation progress. See, that's pretty slow. Even with 10 uh, monthly ducats, subsidies are just not that strong. Penza. Uh... Oh, I no longer have a claim on uh, Crimea. Probably sometime mid next year to next uh, year outright, I'll be able to do this. Is anyone else in the coalition against me any longer? No, because Muscovy's dead. Or no, they're not dead, but they're my vassal. And, um. <laughs> I bet you want my provinces. Oh no, you don't. They don't really have any allies, so. Oh, they're going to force march me. But where are you going to go? 
That's silly. <laughs> Why would you force March to your death? It's just pointless. Alright. Nice easy war. Yeah, I don't really care about that 10% local tax modifier. Does not matter. Yay! Easy conquest. And they won't even be able to siege me. But I'm still gonna kick them out. Oh, oh no, I guess Muscovy will kick them out. <laughs> even as a vassal, you pick on them. Of course, like this, I can't actually uh, vassal or annex Zo. So that's okay. <laughs> Did you lose your treaties too? I could just declare on them. Do they have anything? Let me look. It wouldn't hurt. <laughs> it would make my life a little easier to get the achievement and get ready for Ottomans directly. Yeah, they have literally nothing. So... And this stuff's Russian. Declare on them. <laughs> Derp. Weren't you my rebel hunting stack? I don't know why uh, you don't have enough numbers. I'll actually give you some numbers. Now, did Bohemia even join? They actually did join. Kudos to them for that. Yeah, go for it, lucky Muscovy. Show the world your trash potential. Nobody likes Muscovy. Unless you're playing as them. What does Bohemia have? I guess I can get a rough idea of knowing that Lithuania has nothing. Yeah, Bohemia has almost nothing as well. That doesn't surprise me, considering they were just fighting me, then the Ottomans. Corsani Patriots. And Danish Patriots. And of course, right after uh, finishing uh, one off, we get another to convert. Now, how much uh, AE will I get for this stuff? Oh my gosh, I was still colonizing, that's right. It's easy to forget these things. Because colonizing tropical is kind of rough, no matter how you slice it. Oops. What the heck? No, attach. I was holding the wrong part of the keyboard. Alright, let's just, uh... Go ahead and explore that. Well, at least Protestant doesn't have any inherent resistance, so, uh... It's, uh, well, I'm converting the wrong one first, though. But yeah, Protestant's pretty easy to convert. Really, all the re Christian religions, other than Coptic, which is new and only in Ethiopia, and, um... Orthodox have no resistance to conversion at all. So in that regard, they're actually not tougher than the Asian religions. They just, uh, they have much higher conversion strengths themselves. Yeah, I guess that's fine. You should probably pay attention to what's going on here. Lithuania is trying to rebuild. We don't have to allow it, though. <laughs> Somehow I don't think you're going to fare quite as well as our, uh, oh my gosh, there are three techs behind me. <laughs> and I'm nomad. Backwards Euros. You have nothing on the great hordes. Oh my gosh, Denmark. <laughs> I guess I did kind of uh, wipe them out, so... Now, I don't have claims on this, do I? Yeah, so let's just vassal it, because I don't really need my Diplo attack much. And, um... 
It's fine. It'll toss me tiny amounts of units. Do I have a claim on this? Nope. I think I'm just going to take that, though. Now, of course, opposing military schools. Sorry, we're getting positive stab events quite commonly, too, now, so... Not as greeting as before. Do I have room for one more? Yeah, I can get, I can take out Ukraine. it would be a problem that way. Where does Ukraine begin? Ruthenian. I would have to take a number of provinces. But that doesn't mean I can't. Go get the uh, Ruthenian cores. We're going to pop out Ukraine as a vassal as well. Every little bit helps. And I think versus the Ottomans, I'm going to use the Cautious Conquest claim once I start fighting them directly. Because the uh, Muslims that get uptight over it will not be a serious threat aside from the Ottomans themselves. Hmm. Lost another conquistador. Yeah, this is a little one-sided. Man, Muscovy's uh, fielding an impressive number of troops, all things considered. It's a shame I can't just, like, you know, convert them religiously. But okay. We shall bring in another conquistador. Not a great one, but could be worse. What am I doing on uh, military tech? Yeah, it's time to take another one. I figured it would be. And... oh yeah. Um, released. Attached. And sail for it. Oh, well, I could have just uh, explored that directly, I guess, but, uh... Sure, why not? We'll just land on it directly. It's a cool method. Yeah, a lot of these have uh, straight crossings. I don't remember them having them, but that's pretty convenient. I don't really need to be covering these the way I am, but... Whatever. It's, we've made some decent progress, considering I really put all this off. Oh, baby. I forgot about the cannons, but they're rolling out. <laughs> And that is very nice. Can I core this yet? Yeah. So, what can I build in these new provinces? Gustavian infantry. Pretty big upgrade from what I've been using. And until the Ottomans get to Tech 23, significantly better than anything the Ottomans can field. Which means that um, after this part, I am going to be focused pretty hard on... Uh, recovering my manpower and then blowing it all to train out tons of Gustavian infantry. Ooh, Ukraine has Kiev. I can make uh, Ukraine pretty strong if I get my hands on that. Ukraine's pretty big. They're a worthy vassal to feed, actually. I know uh, Bohemia is technically in this war, but, like, my vassals are already putting up enough forces to be competitive with them, because they're so... slaughtered. But I think we really want to come close to 100%ing Lithuania, and in fact... We're going to save a little time on it. This should be good. Good enough. Should get a coverage on all their provinces. And end the war. And we can pretty up the borders later. Yay! Kiev is, uh... Actually would be extremely difficult for me to convert, but perhaps uh, Ukraine can do it, although I doubt it. I somehow very strongly doubt it. Because uh, they probably won't have the missionary strength unless they take religious ideas by default. And we will probably be able to gift our way to uh, annexing Zo finally. We 
really. I'm just going to accept their demands. It's too far to care about it. Man, we're, these guys are dropping like flies. Let me take a tech, man. That's not cool. <laughs> Good for nothing but shock. <laughs> I mean, that's a lot of shock. If I fight things on my home terrain with five shock and um, stack cavalry and all that, I'll do a lot of damage. It's unconventional, and it's not nearly as good as just proper infantry. It's not even cost-efficient. And what? <laughs> okay. Well, it looks like I'm going to get literally everything but the uh, Russian region momentarily. Or everything but the Persian region momentarily here. I'll even slap a claim on Penza. And yeah, let's just get rid of the Cambodian nationalists. I did accept their demands, right? Yeah, okay. Muscovite pretender rebels, and in large numbers, when they get broken by that, they get those. So, that's fine. Alright, we're, we're probably in uh, good enough cooking range here. There's a couple things I want for sure. Definitely want Kiev. And yeesh. I'm going to be quite limited in what else I can take in this war, aren't I? That's quite uh, the expensive. But low uh, war exhaust, er, uh, low aggressive expansion. So we're going to go for it. And then I'll just go ahead and yeesh, it's eight tax. Ah! I'm not spending 80 military power on that. What I will do is just retreat all my forces on top of it until it's cored, and then if I get nationalist demands, I'll accept them. And then, of course, we can bypass this other problem by making Ukraine exist. As Confucian. Now, do they get religious ideas? Nope, so they're not going to be able to convert it, and they might even get broken back into Orthodox. But that's okay. Protestant zealots. No surprises there. Now, um, these Danish cores will eventually expire. Oh no, because they, uh, they're going to be the primary nation. So yeah, I actually conquered some... Oh no, they must have culture converted this to Danish. That's not Danish originally. But, well, it lets me uh, continually train Western units forever, so... Who am I to judge? Oh, actually, I probably don't need this to be improving any longer. See, rebels are just a real big pain. That they're not uh, insurmountable for us. The AI, on the other hand, is not the best against them. Ooh, for the Confucian faith, because... Yeah. Oh, well, I can just annex them straight off because of that event. I don't even have to give them money. And then when this guy gets back, I'll cancel the subsidies, because I believe there's a glitch associated with that, where uh, they, you can get stuck paying subsidies to a non-existent uh, vassal forever. It's uh, pretty buggy. But we'll avoid it entirely like that. Okay, buildings. Let's take the uh, tech first. Or no, actually, I'd rather have the uh, recruitment time speed improved first. And, um, how many uh, swivel cannons am I up to? 55? Eh. You can trade in, like, 25 more. But that's it. We'll be done with cannons after that. Although, if I were to reform, I could always, uh, make some uh, better infantry and cavalry instead. Although, who wants to do that? We're not going to reform. Lose out on the ho horde home field bonuses and the uh, no, no no limitation for cavalry. It's ironic. If I were to reform, I would actually uh, be slower. I mean, not slower. I'd have worse end game peps in doing so. 
Yeah, okay. Because fighting me totally went great for you. Oh, no, I missed my opportunity. They insta reallied after a war? That is garbage. It doesn't really shock me, but it's garbage all the same. That's alright, though. We're just gonna trash Coruscant and rebuild our forces. And I don't think I'll show that because they are honestly kind of kind of wrecked. So, well, yeah, that's what I'm going to do in between parts here, viewers. I'm going to um, pick off Coruscant in another war, whatever their current enemies don't take first. Um, Baluchistan can take some stuff. I don't think Orissa can, though, because of their distance. And... Um, I'll be building up a whole bunch of Gustavian infantry, or maybe whatever they get at Tech 23. Although that's really far ahead of yours, isn't it? Yeah, never mind. I'll build up a whole bunch of Gustavian infantry, and, uh... Yay, Cohorn Mortars. And then we'll go after the Ottomans and Kermans together, I think, after that. And that will be an interesting war. I think it'll actually be markedly easier than the war against Denmark, but we shall see. Until then, viewers... I will see you in the next part. I'm the team, signing off.